This demonstration will briefly take you through how to input your data into CAP, how to print and save your output, and also how to change the options available for displaying information within CAP. First, let's have a look at the preferences. Here you'll see that there are a number of preference um, options for formatting your data. Perhaps the most important one here is you can actually change the name of your samples and your variables. You can call them species, a descriptor, or a variable, or a taxon. This allows you to choose names which are most appropriate to your area of science. Now, let's open a data set. First of all, we just go File, Open. We will go into the, the demo data sets and we'll open the Hinkley Fish data. All data sets used by CAP are CSV files, although CAP will also open Excel files. Now, the data are here in the normal form. Note above the data grid there are lots of different editing options. It's possible to promote a row, demote a row, you can delete rows by selecting them, insert them, delete a row there you see, and delete columns as well. Once you've got the data in the form you want, of course it's now in the working data grid, we can square root it, and we can then undertake an analysis such as an ordination, say a principal components analysis. Here we see the results, we'll remove the labels. Now, how do we actually get these data out into a um, form that we can use? First of all, of course, we can print the data. Here you see a magnified area of the printing surface. You can choose the formats for the date, the titles and everything to add to your printer. You can shrink it down to see what it'll look like and of course you can do a print set up your printer orientate your paper etc and then a fi finally you can order your print with the printer on your machine it's also possible to export your files so if we go to export you'll find here a wide range of file formats. You can copy the previewed image to the clipboard. Once it's copied to the clipboard, you can paste it into a Word document, PowerPoint display, or other program. You, of course, can choose many different formats. It's also possible, of course, to preview your data set. Here we're just using Windows Photo Viewer. And finally, of course, you can set your printer straightforward from there. And then you can exit the program.